So I had asked you guys to suggest some sushi brand names on my Instagram and I got a lot of response on that story. I ended up shortlisting a few and eventually settled on Zen. So today we are going to design a logo for Zen Sushi Bar and I'm going to walk you through the process of how I organize my design project. In the first half, I'll talk about the steps you should follow before you start sketching your ideas and in the later half, we'll take a sketch into Illustrator and work on bringing the design to life. I use this software called Milanote and I highly recommend you to use this to organize your design projects. It makes the whole process super easy. So let me walk you through my design process. So first, I'm going to copy my brand name and brand details onto these notes and group them into a column called Logo Brief. If there's any other details that the client has provided, you can mention that here as well. I like to have these down at the very beginning as it helps me have a clear understanding of the starting point. Then I'll create some sample to-do tasks to keep a track of my progress and group them into a column called logo process. Dividing the project into smaller steps helps you stay organized and prevents creative blocks. So the first step is researching about the idea and defining the goal of the brand and creating some key points that we want to be reflected in the final design. In this design project, we are going to make a sushi brand and I started with studying the sushi culture in Japan to figure out how we can make a brand stand out from the rest. The goal is to showcase the premium nature of the brand and an important point is to incorporate the Japanese style into it. I also looked up some competitors and dragged in the links to the websites for reference. After doing enough research, I'll go ahead and check it off my to-do list. Then moving on to brainstorming where I come up with creative ideas for the design. This is why I love Miller Note. It's really easy to jot down your ideas, similar to adding sticky notes onto a whiteboard. I'll group all of these ideas into a column so it's more organized. Next, we'll move on to mood boarding, which is one of my favorite steps. And it's also the most important step in defining the aesthetics of your design. I'll drag in a new board from the left, name it and pick mood board from the list of templates. Now, this is where you let your creative senses wild. I would suggest you to download the Millenote Web Clipper extension for Google Chrome and then go to Pinterest and start saving the ideas you like onto your board. So I'm just browsing through some sushi logos and Japanese style posters on Pinterest and clipping them onto my board. Finally, I'm gonna pick out a few colors and make a color palette from the images that I've saved. Once you're satisfied with your mood board, it's time to start sketching ideas for your logo. Coming back to a mood board, I initially wanted to do something with the scales of salmon meat but then it felt too generic and it wasn't really solving the problem of standing out. The idea of illustrating a fish felt more fresh and resonated more with the brand goals. So that's what I ended up moving forward with. Okay, now I'm gonna paste my sketch back into Note on a new board called Sketches. At this point, you can add your client to the project and get the feedback to make sure you're on the right track. If you're working in a team, then you can also add your teammates to this project and add comments on the board to suggest any ideas or changes. Note is a free tool for organizing your creative project into freeform visual boards. It can be used for any creative project and they have a variety of templates to help you get started. Its drag and drop interface makes it really easy to organize your creative project and note down ideas during the pre-planning and research phase. It's completely free to use so go check the first link in my description to get started. Thanks again Millenote for sponsoring this video. Now I'm gonna go get some lunch with my friends and then we'll move on with the final design.
shouldn't be standing with a heart that's so heavy I shouldn't be up with all the weight that I carry Don't know if it's right, but I'm sticking with you You're my only vice, I'm dependent on you Love's for the wicked, I know this shit too well I talk, you don't listen, still I'm under your spell I think I'm addicted to feeling bad as hell I can just let you go You're the one I wait for, even though I hate Every time you leave me, leave me to my fate You're the one I'll stay for, though I wanna go Find somebody better, better for my soul Better for my soul, yeah, better for my soul Find somebody better, better for my soul You're the one I'll stay for, though I wanna go Find somebody better, better for my soul About the good days when you put me first, baby When you used to call me just to say that you miss me Don't know how we got here, but I blame you And I blame myself just for sticking with you Love's for the wicked, I know this shit too well I talk, you don't listen, still I'm under your spell I think I'm addicted to feeling bad as hell I can just let you go You're the one I wait for, even though I hate Every time you 